Hi everyone. Today I'm going to take you through a few steps how I make this amazing uh, tire in geometry nodes, including the rim, the bolts, and the curvature of the tire and the tire threads. And you can get this amazing tire generator from my Gumroad page, and you can get the link from the description. So stay tuned support like subscribe for more amazing techniques so let's go dive in. So first, uh, to create this tire, uh, the first step I make is uh, to create a tire. This is a U-shaped tire, reverse the U-shaped tire. First, I create the line like that and uh, rotate it 90 degrees in the Y-axis uh, like this and uh, resample the curve. I added resample node and after that I added a set position node and uh, uh, added a combine XYZ node from a vector vector menu and uh, I multiplied the Y axis with the float curve and I played with the with the curve uh, points and uh, I get the uh, this kind of shape and then I added another set position node and uh, select the first point and offset it inwards uh, like uh, 1.0.1 and then again I added uh, another set position and offset uh, the second in point inwards that I converted to a mesh with a profile of a circle curve and I get a tire easy right yeah and then I create the rim here I just copy and paste the, the first tire node and I just only reversed I just only reversed the float value to downwards that's simple right <laughs> yeah it's so easy the next step that i take is uh, create the star that connects the center to the rim i created the single single arm and uh, uh, scattered it uh, around the circle created the same thing here the line and resample the line the curve and rotate it to 90 degrees and set a position node the z axis value with the float curve and I play around the shape of the point of the float curve and I convert to a mesh after I convert to a mesh I added a fillet curve node to make it smoother around the edge and then after I convert to mesh I shade smooth it and instance it to the circle here's how I create the first star and for the second star a line curve and again resampled it and uh, convert to a mesh with a profile of a star yeah you can get this uh, star curve from curve primitive star and between the resample and the curved mesh node I add set curve radius node and link the radius value with the float curve node and I play around points and I get the shape and the other thing where I did is uh, switch between the star 
A and star B with um, a help of a switch node you can get from a utility menu switch what it does is switch between two objects or two values you can change with the float integer boolean but in our case we need the geometry so i link the first star to false and the second star to true we can get the value between those two and for the tire treads again i just copy and paste the tire that we created earlier but at this time when i convert curve to mesh i profiled it with a rectangle like this yeah and sliced it with a boolean mesh with a cube grid and for the cube grid i instances on line you can play around the counts and with the boolean node i just sliced that shape and again instance it around the circle and i get the shape and the other thing is uh, the text here is the text uh, aligned around the circle i just add the string to curve uh, node and uh, added the fill node and instance around the circle but when you do that you need to turn on the pick instance otherwise it will instance the whole as one object so this is how i did it for the center and the bricks i did it in destructive mode to reduce the memory of the pc you can do it in geometry nodes so this is how i created the tire generator in blender geometry nodes uh, for more techniques and uh, assets follow like subscribe and support thank you for your support ciao